All right, here we go. We are working on the Summer Tech One graphs assignment as we have our 2015 Masters at Augusta National. These are some of the, the top players in that tournament. Um, four rounds. They have a Thursday round, Friday round, Saturday round, Sunday round, and this is total stroke. So you can see the formula that I put in there. I just summed the four rounds together um, to make that. All right, you don't need to worry about that. Because for this information, you're going to use the information that I already have on here. You can make your graphs right on here. You can put your graphs onto another sheet, um, either way that you want to do it. So the very first one, make a column chart that displays Jordan Spieth scores for rounds one through four. So we're going to highlight Jordan Spieth, rounds one through four, and it asks that we make a column chart. All right, so we are going to insert a chart, column chart. And there you go. There you have Jordan Spieth's first round right there. We can even click on these columns and then control click or right click and add data labels. So we have the scores there. So the first round should be 64, second round 66, 70, 70, and we're good to go. That's one. Pretty easy. Um, as we go to the next one, we're going to make a line chart that displays the average scores for rounds one through four. Okay. So we have our average scores down here. So we're going to highlight this data and we are going to insert a line chart. We're going to insert a line chart. Okay, here we go. Insert. We can also use some charts over here, but very easy. We go insert chart and we want to put in a line chart. Done and done. There you see average scores for rounds one through four. Again, we can click on the line we can right click or control click and add data labels to see what the averages are as you can see the average is 69.9 for round one 69.5 for two 70.5 for three and then 69.4 um, for round four then we have the third one third one's a little more challenging i'm gonna give you guys a couple ideas to do but it's really whatever you want to make you're going to make a third chart so you're going to select some type of player or average or a specific round however it may be uh, maybe you want to do the top three um, it's perfectly fine you can do total strokes you can do strokes um, under par you could do a number of different things you could just do round one you could just do something on round two or round three but it's something that's going to compare um, statistics so if we just wanted to look at the top three um, all four rounds for the top three, Jordan Spieth, Phil Mickelson, Justin Rose. And you don't have to do this one, but um, just as an example, and we wanted to come over and do a, we'll just say a bar chart. All right, and then we come over and we see Justin Rose, Phil Mickelson, Jordan Spieth, our top three. It coordinates them by color. We can put the data on there again by right-clicking or control-clicking to add the data labels, which will give us some some numbers on here, you can do that for each one. Kind of help us display some of the data. We can update the chart title. Again, that would be an example, you don't have to do that one. Um, you could absolutely do something else. So if you wanted to paste, cut and paste those, put them onto sheet two, it's very easy to do as well. You just select the whole chart. You can cut it, come over to sheet two, paste it over here, and you can do that for all three, or you could leave them just right here on this on this first sheet, um, and, and that would work just fine as well. Okay, so the third one's up to you. Just make sure it's not a line chart or a column chart because we made uh, a line chart and we made a column chart and make sure you save it correctly your initials tech one graphs and submit it on thinkwave all right have fun